All right, uh, according to code, I've got to have makeup air because my hood is 400 CFM or higher. I'd never even heard of makeup air. And uh, so now I'm retrofitting makeup air on it. We don't have any ducting in the house, no other kind of uh, a ducted heating system to tap into. So I, this is a new house, but we are on a budget. So I went on eBay and I found this Braun uh, dampener for makeup air. And I'm installing it on the outside of the house and running the wires to the inside. Uh, I put a hole through there. I'm gonna build a box over that with a with a nice vent, a uh, a register or grill, what have you, on the outside of it. So basically, what this thing does is it's got a little spring activated or electrically activated 24 volt. Um, on the side of it that turns this flapper this flapper here and opens the flapper whenever you turn on the exhaust vent inside the house you can see here and it's got some tension on it so the wires go to the side there I just ran them in through the vent cut a whole six inch hole in my siding and sheetrock um, avoiding the uh, studs in the wall, of course. And of course, I'm gonna seal it up really well before I build the box over the outside portion of it. But those uh, wires come on the inside. As you can see here, I've got the hole there, and I'm gonna put a, a, uh, a grill over the inside as well, and that lets the air in. Now, I could, a lot of people put these in different places. I didn't want cold winter air coming in across the room. I'd rather it come in there, get sucked in around the hood, and go back under. Because what it does, it prevents the vacuum from pressure from building up in the house. Here's how it works. There's this little um, pressure sensor that I had to attach to the side of the pipe, and a hose, and then a switch has two terminals on it and so when there's pressure it uh, activates the switch and it's all powered by a doorbell 24 volt power supply which is wired into the wiring of the of the hood so that's pretty much it it's fairly simple I ran the low voltage wire these from the outside uh, in through the back, through the stainless steel, I drilled a hole and put a rubber grommet in there to make sure that the uh, the wires wouldn't get cut from the sharp metal. So basically, that's it. It's not really that complicated, but it definitely uh, stretched me a bit to try and figure out how and where and what the heck is makeup air. So. Basically, it sucks so much air out of the new house that the air basically creates a vacuum in the house. And we tried it. We cooked some dried, stinky dried fish. And uh, we turned on the hood, and at first you could see it was going up the hood, and then after a little while it actually stopped going up the hood, and the air just kind of floated around here because there was no air coming into the house from anywhere. The house is brand new and it's sealed that well apparently so i had to reach over here and just kind of crack open a window just a little bit like that and let the air come in and that did it that was enough for the air to come in through here and go up the vent and take all of the smell and everything with it um some of the problem the reason why it's in the regulations is because in a vacuum situation like that, and if you had gas appliances or furnaces and things like that, it could actually pull the gas in from those locations and with the suction that it creates. And so it is important. I'd never heard of it before until we had this house built and we thought we were done, but now I'm retrofitting this makeup area in there. And I hope I did it right. I hope it you know, the inspector will be okay with it. I've seen a lot of other people, well, the only other 
couple of samples I could find was people who installed it under the under the cabinet and they had the air come in behind the stove it would have like a slide-in stove and uh, you know and, and it would come in that way which seemed okay but I wouldn't want to have the air coming in like from underneath the cabinet or something and vent it down there because then you'd have cold air just running right up your leg to go out the vent so in the winter and we want to avoid that for sure so how it works is that sensor on the tube there um, when it senses the suction it tells the vent the uh, the dampener to open and it lets air come in pretty cool so that's my uh, that's my share for today I hope that helps somebody out it it's not too terribly hard but yeah you had to uh, wrap my head around it for sure.